All right, so we're all back together, cover on basically. Um, <clears throat> and the couplers are still flopping, haven't done the couplers yet, but um, we just want to do a quick little test on all the light functions. Um, so we got cab light, that still works, that's good. <laughs> the front spotlight. Yep, that's working. And then let's see, ditch lights. And the ditch lights are actually, they work with the horn also. Which are probably gonna end up changing the horn. I don't really like this horn. So they flash for a little while um, and then they'll shut off. I'm not gonna set these so they stay on but um, in the tools section, right here, directional lighting disabled, which we already have directional lighting because of what we did, and auto ditch lights on, on horn. So you can enable it or disable it. I kind of like it enabled, I think it's a cool feature. So, um, We'll get into a little more about programming and changing the picture and stuff like that shortly. Okay, so <clears throat> once you've downloaded the RailPro Assistant onto your computer, um, click on pictures and I'm gonna try to find picture of Santa Fe NW2. I don't know if it's going to be in here. Santa Fe. Um, doesn't look like they have an NW2. So what I'll have to do is take a picture of the NW2 and get it into the remote. So I'll go over that here in a second. Okay, <clears throat> I have taken a picture and I've emailed it to myself. I took a picture with my phone, uh, cropped it down the best I could, and here it is. So I'm going to download this, I'm gonna save a picture. Um, we'll call it 1216. save I saved it to my desktop okay so there it is dimensions are it's a JPEG file all right so what we need to do is go to the internet and convert this so I just happen to have it right here JPEG BM, BMP convert. <clears throat> um, select a file. This one, 1216. And we want to convert it to a BMP. Okay. But I'm going to go to the tools and resize it because it needs to be. The width needs to be 480, and the height needs to be 180, okay? Now, for the fit, don't go to max, let it crop it. Because if you don't, it'll be the wrong, it'll be too many pixels per, uh, too many bits per pixel, unless you let it crop. So we'll click OK. And then convert. This is cloud convert. This was the first one that came up. So <clears throat> I just want to take you through the whole process here. I'm going to download it. And click on the download. 
and it sort of cropped the picture a little bit, but it gets you, you get the idea. Okay. I don't need a perfect picture. I just want to know what I've got here. So we'll go here and we'll save as two, 12, one, two, one, six, two. So we'll save that. Get this closed. Get this closed. And here it is right here. Uh, the one above it's the old one. So that's a JPEG file. This is the BMP file, but we're gonna check the properties anyway. So we'll go to properties and we'll go to details. So you want 480 by 180 and the bit depth needs to be 24. Like I said before, if you leave it at max, it'll put the bit depth at 32. So let's see if this works. Go to the Rail Pro Assistant. We want to select a picture from our computer. Select option, then press here to create new file. Okay, and we're going to import a picture. And we want this one right here. Right there. Now it's in there. So it's ready to go. So it should be exit page. And then it shows up there. Now all I need to do is plug in the remote and get that 1216 picture into the remote and then from the remote to the uh, board that's in the train. So give me one second to set up. Okay, I've got the remote out and on and ready to upload. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna click add, and then it goes over to this side, okay? And it tells you what to do. Go to the update software page on the handheld controller to begin loading files, and so on and so forth. So, go to tools, software update, USB, press to begin download and it's copying the files. So there's a progress bar here. We don't need to video that. And it tells you right here, handheld controller loading now, please wait. So once this is done, I'll show you what to do to get it onto the Braille Pro board. All right, once it's done, this screen goes back to normal, no more messages, that's still there and the progress bars are full, but this little thing right here, when the exit page shows back up, then you can move on to the next thing. So we're gonna exit page and we're gonna go to software update and we're going to copy the file and it's gonna go from the remote to here to press a product. Which one do we wanna go to? We wanna go to this one because this board came out of the B unit and we want to do the picture. And none of those are listed. Next page, there it is. The 1216 2CF, just like it is there on my computer. And that's the one we're gonna select. I think we'll just wait for the progress bar on here on this one because the pictures tend to go pretty quick. <clears throat> okay, see that exit page popped up? So we'll exit page, exit page, exit page. And we're gonna go to locomotives. We're gonna select the B here. And then we're gonna go to tools. And right here is the picture. You just click on the picture. And we're gonna select this. Now it's changed to the picture that I took. So I'm just gonna click save again because that's how I roll. And we're gonna change the name. So we'll go <laughs> big fingers.
Santa Fe N W two enter. So now it's named, it's saving. I always press save again, it's just good habit. Exit, there it is, Santa Fe NW2 with the picture in the background. And we can exit page, we can go to select locomotives, and there she is now. There's the picture that we wanted. So we can select that picture, and here we go. So that's how you get your own picture in.